Greetings, dear friends! I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Ford Fiesta. The most massive Ford Fiesta manual transmission of the IB5 series, which comes with all gasoline engines, is not the best choice in terms of reliability. It still somehow copes with engines with a capacity of up to 100 forces and a torque of up to 140 nanometers, but a little more torque or careless handling of the clutch is finished off by the bearings and differential and then the body with shafts and gears. With regular oil changes and careful handling, the resource is quite large. There are copies with runs over 400,000, but still most drivers do not have these boxes that much. Already by 100,000 run breakdowns are possible. The holding of the box should be taken seriously. If you ignore this clear sign of problems, you can stay with the stationary machine, which will have completely destroyed the body of the manual gearbox. It will not even be possible to tow it, only to carry it on a tow truck. And of course, repairs in this case are impossible, only a replacement. And these boxes are in short supply and the price is gradually increasing. At Focuses, such units are often changed to Stroner MTX75, but this option simply will not fit into the Fiesta subframe. When buying, you definitely need to listen to the box, and it's best not on the go when there are a lot of extraneous sounds, but on the lift, turning on the gear and spinning the wheels with the motor and then dropping the gas. If everything is quiet, congratulations, all that remains is to change the oil immediately after purchase and do it every 60,000 as on automatic machines, and continue to remember to listen to the box at every MOT test. If a hole appears, it's better not to postpone and repair it right away until the destruction has become critical. Among other problems of this manual gearbox, there is a difficult operation after 15-20 minutes of warming up the gearbox. The reason is the contamination of the fluoroplastic hinges of the gear shift balancer. The later is located on the box and by the time it runs 100-200,000, it will probably get dirty. Flushing with the removal of the balancer is usually sufficient. The automatic 4-speed automatic transmission Ford 4F27E, which was paired with an atmospheric 1.4 engine on cars before installing, is very reliable. Much more reliable than mechanics. It appeared on the Escort, it can be found on the Focus 1, 2, the Mondial 3 and a bunch of other models. The 4F27E automatic transmission can go through 250-300,000 with an oil change every 60,000 without breakdowns. Almost all of its intermediate repairs can be carried out without even removing the box from the engine, just by lowering the subframe to remove the rear cover. In this case, it will be possible to easily tighten, change the brake band and check change the rear caliper of the box. It is these nodes that are the main weak point of the structure, but problems manifest themselves mainly at high loads or high mileage. In the case of a light Fiesta and a weak 1.4 engine, breakdowns are much less common than on a Mazda 3 or Focus. It is a pity that the second automatic gearbox found on the Fiesta cannot boast of such reliability. The 6-speed Gatrack 6DST250 gearbox, which was installed after the restyling with 1.6 engines, belongs to pre-selective robots, has two dry clutches and fully economic control without a hydraulic circuit, concentrated in mechatronics, which is more correctly called the TCM module. Two motors are responsible for the operation of the gear selection mechanism and for the work with the clutches to more separate motor drives. The mechanical part of the transmission is quite reliable, bearings, shaft housing and differential are rarely let down. The main problem mechanically is the wear of the gear shift mechanism. The forks are driven by a mechanical system of two driving drums. The wear of the drum cam and the inclusion fork and lead to under engagement of the gears and wear of the engagement clutches. Oil leaks are usually associated with overheating of the box body. Unfortunately, it was deprived of normal cooling. It is especially dangerous to put crankcase protection on cars with Kitrack 6DST250. This entails very strong overheating of the box. But most often, their source of problem is not natural wear and tear, but glitches of the control unit TCM. It doesn't engage the clutch with the working fork, doesn't engage gears on time, and more. Fortunately for Fiesta fans, the box came to this model with late revisions of the unit, where the quality of software and electronics is higher than, say, on the third generation Focus. However, with prolonged driving in the hot weather, the chances of breakage are still high. Now, the price of a set of clutches, number 532020300, has dropped to 19 20,000 rubles in specialized stores, but basically it is kept at the level of 29 50,000. The price of the TCM unit dropped to the same 30,000 and remanufactured exchange ones are offered for 10. The clutch motor drives cost 15,000 each and they also fail 
wedge and exceed the allowed current, where it is greatly accelerated if the release forks 5000 each have increased backlash. So if you notice oddities in the behavior of the car, it's better to change the block in advance and not wait for the end of the box. The majority of cars on our market have motors of the Sigma family of 100.25, 1.4 and 1.6 liters. Much less common are other engine options, 3-cylinder 1.0 EcoBoost and diesel engines 1.4 and 1.6. Of the common problems, it is worth noting the density of the layout and the very low quality of the pipes and connections of the cooling system. So you will have to remove the headlights on the Fiesta not only to replace the lamps, but also to service the engine and its attachments. The most running motors in the Sigma family are reliable. These are inline 4 cylinder units developed by Yamaha in a classic cast iron block with 16 valve cylinder heads and a timing belt, very compact with extensive use of plastic parts in the intake and cooling system. Phase regulators are used only for the most powerful versions of engines 1.4 and 1.6. A spared injection is always distributed. Also in the line were supercharged versions with direct injection, they are found on the ST version, which are practically absent in Russia. The piston group resource of these motors is over 250,000, but the design gives a lot of minor troubles. For example, the wedging of the flaps, changing the intake geometry, warping the intake manifold or oil leakage due to a wear ventilation system, deformation of the plastic cylinder head cover and not very high quality gaskets. A more or less serious problem is associated with the resource of the pump and the plastic housing of the thermostat. The pump suffers from the same thing as the generator, there is no separate tensioner in the drive of the auxiliary units, therefore the requirements for the characteristics of the drive belt are increased. So if the belt is literally a little stronger or a little harder than necessary, the pump will quickly become unusable. The pipes of the cooling system, as already mentioned above, are made of some kind of creeping material. After 5 years of operation, the appearance of system leaks is more the rule than the exception. Quick detachable fasteners of small diameter branch pipes, such as a branch to the stow, at the same time cease to be removed due to acidification. The 96 horsepower 1.4 and 101 horsepower 1.6 have phase regulators in the camshaft drive. They can also be attributed to weak points. These elements are very sensitive to oil quality and replacement regulations. With runs over 150 with a standard oil change, scheduled every 15,000 km, the oil appetite begins to grow through the piston group. At the initial stage, it's easy to remove it by switching the, to better quality oils with a wide range of oil viscosities and the replacement interval reduced to 10,000. But in advanced cases, you will have to start replacing the rings or at least decoking. Similar problems arise with motors that overheat, and the latter happens more often than average due to imperfections in the cooling system. For relatively trouble-free operation with a mileage of more than 200,000, it is advisable to preventively replace all the oil seals on the motor, including the rear crankshaft oil seal and valve oil seals. In addition, a revision of the cooling system is required with the replacement of the thermostat, checking the condition of the pump, replacing the caskets and, if necessary, the thermostat housings and the temperature sensor bracket. Additionally, it makes sense to check and, if necessary, replace the absolute pressure sensor at the inlet, as well as see the tightness of the intake manifold, either by a smoke machine or by listening from where the air is poisoned when pressure is applied. Timing every 120,000, it can be hauled out for this run, but at the limit of the resource and this is when it comes to EOM parts. How long the analog will last no one can predict, so reduce the replacement interval to a maximum of 90,000. The turbocharged version of the Fiesta ST works to the breaking point of the block design and, like any turbocharged direct injection engine, is harder and more demanding to maintain. Here the liners are regularly rotated, burn out pistons and connecting rods bent by detonation, and the power system requires attention even with runs over 100,000. Liter EcoBoasts, they are also almost absent in Russia, but they come across in pieces, have a design that is better optimized for supercharged work. They have a good safety margin of the piston group and a more reliable power system. From the point of view of buying a car in the secondary market, the main design flaw is its timing mechanism. It uses a belt in and oil bath. Yes, motor materials like HNBR neutral butadiene rubber are not afraid of oil. They work even better in it, and temperatures up to 150 degrees are permissible for them. It's a pity that the replacing the belt turns out to be extremely expensive, because you have to change the front cover seals, 
The timing star bolts must be changed, they are disposable and are pulled by a special gearbox with a torque of 400 nanometers. The injection pump pushers, all high pressure pipes and a whole bunch of other things are also changed right away on the little things. In total, a simple belt replacement operation comes out at about 70-90,000 rubles at least, and the dealer wants almost 200. At the same time, the belt resource only on paper is 204,000. For many owners, after 120,000, it begins to crumble, clogging the oil receiver of the motor followed by oil starvation. In addition to the motor, a very complex cooling system is attached, with a separate thermostat for the cylinder block and a complete shutdown of circulation in it to accelerate heating, an electric pump on the radiator diffuser. The turbine, as you might guess, is also not cheap. Of course, the engine is much more economical than 1.6 close in power and its total piston group resource is at least no less. But the cost of maintenance in the post-warranty period covers all the savings on fuel. Diesels for the Fiesta are French, produced by PSA. Motor 1.4 Duratorque DLD 415, knee DV40D post styling 1.5 Duratorque is DV5TE D4 and 1.6 Duratorque DLD 416 DV6TE D4. Engines differ significantly and the most capricious is the 1.5 engine and the most reliable versions of the 1.6 engines before restyling with a simple turbine without variable geometry. On this information about the problems of Ford Fiesta is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.